What's up, everybody? It's Blaine's Final Vlog, and it's been a, over a month, actually, since the last update on the Musa coccinea species. Uh, this is a um, an awesome, unique species of banana plant that is kind of rare. It produces a red inflorescence when it flowers. That's why I'm so excited to have this one. Um, since the last update, it's put out only two new leaves. Um, it grows in shade, mainly. But I'm putting out more sunlight now since the sun is not as harsh anymore. So now it's in full sunlight and it should be taking off soon. Um, last update had this leaf out, these these leaves right here. And since then I put out this one and then this one. This one looks really good. This one has a little bit of, I don't know what that would be, but I think it'll be okay. These leaves are starting to suffer a little bit of something. I don't know what's going on with them. But I'm really hoping we get another pup off this thing soon so that the pup will, you know, it'll be established and it'll be acclimated and it can shoot up really quickly. This thing is, um, you know, the first, this is the first generation of the mother plant. This thing was planted in this container, had to root out, established. It's not even fully established yet. So once that pup comes up, it'll be ready to go. There's no pups yet, though, but hopefully we'll be finding one in about a month or so. So, um... Yeah, as you can see, these leaves are getting, in fact, getting bigger. Um, this one, new one, is actually, oh gosh, uh, probably over a little over a foot long. And when I first got it, they were like this big. So it is progressing pretty quickly. So I'm looking forward to this species and seeing what it does here in our climate. I could technically put this in the ground, but I do not want to risk it. You can see there's another leaf coming up through there takes a long time. This thing grows slow, but hey, that's okay. So long as we keeps growing, we're in good shape. See you next one, guys.